What you're looking at is a picture of an iconic palace in Kabul, Afghanistan. After being destroyed in the war, Afghans have rebuilt it to help erase the memory of war and embrace a brighter future. I've made a couple dozen trips to Afghanistan since 1999, each visit a very powerful and rich experience. This assignment, where I saw and photographed the Darulaman Palace in late May, was no different. The palace was conceived in the 1920s as an architectural example of Afghanistan's entry into the modern world. But for the past 40 years, the imposing building atop a hill in western Kabul has been at odds with its name, which translates to the Abode of Peace. The turmoil this remarkable building endured has been great. It spanned the Soviet occupation in the 1980s, battles between warlords for control of the city, neglect under Taliban rule, and since 2001, US occupation and the subsequent civil war. Throughout those decades, the palace became the symbol of a nation at war. But recently, Afghan workers began to rebuild. They used local materials to rebuild the palace, this time as a symbol they hope will reflect a revitalized country, and one that may again see peace. President Ashraf Ghani had ordered that the work be done by August, when Afghans celebrated the 100-year anniversary of their independence from colonial Britain. Within the labyrinthine walls and in chambers with vaulted ceilings, legions of builders worked in the dust, erecting scaffolding to plaster walls, rewire, and replumb. In one spot, high on one wall, there were still traces of the original rich interior paint. Soft light fell on workers as they fashioned semicircular cedar window arches with wood from Kunar province. They installed floors and stairwells using marble from Herat to the northwest. Always on the faces of these workers, hundreds of them, was a look of pride. Theirs was a $10 million project designed to restore not only a building, but also a sense of national dignity and self-respect. At prayer time, the men laid down blankets. Together, they prayed. A rudimentary concrete stairwell leads up to the attic area, where workers fashion sheet metal for the roof. Small portals open onto wide gutters, which point to the rounded cupolas that Afghan builders sealed and painted often hanging precariously from the highest heights in the city. Afghanistan still struggles to transition from its troubled past into its uncertain future. But life in Kabul stands to become richer now in the shadow of a gleaming Darulaman palace. <laughs>